Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another RC related review. Uh, today we are going to take a look at the uh, quadcopter. Uh, I have uh, broken the surprise because uh, I, you don't kind of uh, find that it's a quadcopter from the box. Uh, regardless of how you look at this picture, uh, it doesn't uh, kind of uh, uh, made an appearance of a quadcopter. So inside indeed it's a uh, let's call it toy grade quadcopter that has uh, some uh, functions like HD camera, Wi-Fi, FPV, uh, headless mode, altitude hold mode, uh, dual rate. So it's uh, pretty decent uh, when it comes to features. This is also very cheap and uh, it's made actually by the Yizang company, uh, the same company that uh, made uh, some time ago the uh, tarantula model which is and was very famous and very good uh, highly moddable quadcopter and uh, good quality also and uh, you could uh, find a lot of spare parts for it uh, mod it, uh, install FPV on it it had a lot of uh, power for its size and so on so the same company uh, made this iDrone i5 uh, with the uh, appearance of uh, an iPhone logo which is kind of uh, interesting and it's not related to any kind of Apple products so let's see what we get in the box so we do get an uh, instruction manual so it's the i5HV model to be more exactly and it has a pretty thick manual and it's in Chinese and English both languages so the English part is good and we get these instructions of how to fold the arms because this is a portable and foldable quadcopter and let's see what this is correction so this is for calibrating the gyro and if you are using the mobile phone yes you can calibrate it from that so this quadcopter doesn't come with a transmitter included you can buy an optional one uh, this one will work with your smartphone out of the box so you don't need a transmitter uh, you just uh, are going to install the application from the market and uh, fly from uh, your phone so inside the box you get a spare set of propellers a screwdriver and some squishy things like uh, looks like a landing gear and this is the battery charger in form of a USB stick it's nice because you can charge it from a power bank so let's take a closer look at uh, the quadcopter so this is its folded state um, underneath here we should have the battery so the battery cover comes out and yes there is a small lipo here it's a 3.7 volt so it's one cell and 350 milliamps capacity 25c discharge rate so inside there we can see the antenna of the receiver uh, this is the power connector and now let's fold it in the shape of a quadcopter and now with the arms folded you can lock them into place by using these clips here you just slide them like that they make a click sound and the arms are now locked into position and they also include a propeller guard uh, which is nice it's not the uh, usual propeller guard that is huge and works more like a parachute than a uh, propeller uh, protection so uh, kind of give a minimal protection mostly for the user or if you hit the wall or something like that and they won't be a drag or a break for the quadcopter on top of it you also get the Wi-Fi uh, camera so this does not have an SD card slot uh, it transmits through this antenna directly to your mobile phone through Wi-Fi so you get Wi-Fi FPV and it also uh, acts as a control board so you can control the drone from the mobile phone so I have installed the iDrone uh, app from uh, the market and now I'm going to try to make a connection to see uh, if this uh, thing works and uh, how it works. So I'm going to connect the LiPo battery.
the lipo is now connected and I'm going to pack it in here the wire and I should put this uh, tiny cap back it goes like that all right so to power it on it's nice that it has this tiny power button here so it's, it will not start if you just connect the battery you need to press this button and with a short press now it's blinking and probably waiting for the connection and let's see if I get a new uh, available network yes the hydro network now it's available I'm connecting to it uh, right and I'm going to open the iDrone app and you are currently using mobile data network the player will continue to okay uh, resume resume so it's warning me that I'm using mobile data all right it's compact. Oh, we have we also have commercials on this uh, that's nice because they overdone uh, things with this application so I'm going to mute the phone and I'm going to search for my model and you can see it has a lot of models here you can slide and it will change the series so it starts with i4, i6s, i7, i8 hash this is the tarantula actually and so on so this is the i5 i3 i5 all right and my model is the hv version which isn't available here but i'm going to try fpv connection to see if it works so i'm going to click on play does it do anything yes we have image already oh and uh, that is surprising uh, and uh, it's surprising the fact that uh, it looks rather good on uh, the mobile phone screen it's not very choppy it's kind of uh, fluid and it doesn't have that annoying huge lag that you get on uh, this kind of uh, quadcopters of course there is some lag there but uh, this is way way much uh, smaller than uh, what I'm uh, used to seeing at uh, this type of quadcopters so this really has upped my expectancies uh, about it uh, definitely looks like a better application and better uh, quadcopter already so in the app you get the usual take uh, photo button let me try to make it more brighter if it's possible yes so you get uh, record uh, take a picture record video uh, i don't know what that replay button is i'm going to uh, look you have uh, rates uh, gyro mode uh, you tilt the phone and you can control the drone uh, you have this on off switch here it's for arming the motors or disarming them and when you arm them you have control so you can um, control it of course and you have auto takeoff and auto land and if something goes wrong you have a stop button here so you can shut it down quickly and of course you had headless mode and probably gesture control or something like that I'm going to search what that is and you have VR here and yes this splits the screen in two you can put this into something like a Google Cardboard then you get kind of a 3D uh, impression and you have a gravity uh, this is a balance not balance or gravity mode actually this is for calibrating the gyro if you need to and this waypoint here which of course does not work but we'll see what uh, that thing uh, does and I'm going to split uh, this video review in uh, two parts because uh, this first part is uh, getting too long so I'm going to charge up the battery, uh, make some space off my phone because it uh, almost has a full uh, storage card and I'm going to go out and uh, do a test flight. So we'll have some uh, video footage from it and we'll see how this uh, 
copse with uh, outdoor environment because I consider it to be more of an outdoor flyer at uh, this size and hopefully it will uh, perform uh, nice. Another thing that I want to mention is that uh, uh, having larger propellers it also has uh, you can see it has uh, a geared motors. The motors uh, look uh, pretty large, so uh, knowing that they are geared and uh, have a bigger size, uh, I also expect that uh, they have a longer lifespan than uh, direct drive motors that are used in uh, some of uh, similar quadcopters and similar size. Uh, we'll see about the longevity after uh, some time and uh, be sure to follow my next uploads when I'm going to do the second part for it. Until then, bye bye!